Cooking Up with Pat. I'm Patrick and today we're going to prepare something nice, warm, savory, and it's going to be the perfect comfort meal. It's shrimp and grits with andouille sausage. Okay, my grits are almost ready. Um, for those of you who have never cooked grits, you can go to any store. I pick up the uh, Quaker Quick Grits, cooks in five minutes, but I always cook it for about 20 because I like it a little creamier. I also add cream or milk uh, to the water and butter, and you have to taste it because grits are uh, pretty bitter and they need some salt. So just taste it and make sure they're salty enough. So I have my grits almost ready. I put in the cream, the butter, and some salt pepper. And I'm gonna shave in a little bit of uh, white cheddar cheese to give it a cheesier flavor. Um, I also took a loaf pan and I lined it with parchment paper. And what I'm gonna do is pour the grits into the loaf pan and let it cool. Then it should take on the shape of the loaf. Okay, the grits are creamy. They have great flavor. I put them in my loaf and we're gonna let it cool for a couple of hours. And once we get back, we'll let you know what we're gonna do with them then. Okay, I fried up some andouille sausage and we're gonna use it with our shrimp and grits. Okay, I'm gonna season my shrimp. I'm gonna do a little just a little seasoning salt. A little of my favorite garlic and herb. Just a little. I like to smell my fingers after I uh, season. Let's me know how much more I need. Because I certainly can't taste it. Now I'm going to put on a little Cajun seasoning. Just a little. Smells good, a little bit more. Okay, I think they are ready. Okay, I put some garlic in the pan with the olive oil. Now I'm gonna lay my shrimp in there. I'm gonna grill these up until they're until they are nice and cooked, not overcooked, but nicely cooked. And then when we make the sauce, we'll throw the shrimp back into the sauce. I have my pan ready for the peppers and shallots. And we're gonna stir fry them until they're soft. And then I'll add some diced tomatoes, and then we'll finish off the sauce, and we'll add the uh, shrimp back to the pan. Okay, now I'm going to add some roasted tomatoes, diced tomatoes. Not too much, probably like a half a can. A half of a 14 ounce can. And I'm going to let this cook and stew down and We'll be back to add some more spices to it. Cook down the tomatoes, and now I'm gonna add a little red wine. It'll help me make the sauce. Okay, I added a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Um, I put some cumin and a little more Cajun seasoning, a little water, and now I'm ready to add my andouille sausage and my shrimp back to the dish. Okay, I'm going to mix that up and we'll be ready to plate.
Okay, I have my loaf of grits. It's nice and cold. It's been cooling for like two and a half, three hours. And I went and I put some preparations in the loaf just to show you how I'm going to slice it. And in between each loaf, I'm going to take the knife and go in the middle. Just like that. And then I made slices of goat cheese. And hopefully we can get it in the middle without breaking. All right, so we stuffed the goat cheese in it. I'm gonna do it to each one of them. Try to get it down a little lower with a spoon. And we'll continue once we're finished. I cut them, stuffed uh, goat cheese right down the middle. Now I'm heating up some butter in a pan with one piece of uh, sage. Now I'm gonna put my grits in the pan. And then we're gonna fry them, probably like three minutes on each side. And I might have to cover it because I want that uh, goat cheese to melt in the middle. Okay, we're gonna cook this up for like six to seven minutes and we'll see when we come back. Okay, I'm ready to flip it. I put a little seasoning on the top, a little seasoning salt and some pepper. And you wanna just flip it delicately. The cheese is coming through the grit. And another two minutes and we'll be ready to take it out. Okay, here we have it. I have my fried grits stuffed with goat cheese, andouille sausage with shrimp, peppers, shallots. That's a nice savory dish. Um, we fried the uh, grits in like a sage butter and I think it's going to be really, really good. Thank you for joining Cooking Up With Pat. Be sure you share my link, subscribe, and like the page. Thank you and Happy New Year's.